Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stan <laughs> Coming in with this week's Power hey, family, family First. first. Why are we talking about family? Let, hey. Let's just go ahead and I'm going to drop a plug. And just like any good plug, you can decide whether you pick it up and carry it on yeah. and on. But I did a poll on our Life With Us TV channel, which is our lifestyle vlogging channel. And I wanted to know how people found us and how they ended up vlog um, getting on our vlog channel. Yes. Most of the people came from over here and they were a little upset because they were like, <laughs> all these years y'all been reviewing shows, we never knew you had a lifestyle vlog. Yeah. And every now and then we'll drop that knowledge, be like, if that's what you into, come on come over on there. Come on over there, yep. So it seems like every time we drop it, more y'all come over there. Yep. So if that's your thing, make sure you hit the link down below. Yep. We be over there and we're in Vlogmas, with meaning that we're on camera every, every day. day until Christmas. Yep. So if you want to go over there, get caught up, or continue yeah. on, if you already over there, thank you. Yeah. So while we already at it, if you have not liked this video, go ahead and do so. If you're not subscribed, you might as well. Exactly. Because my analytics say that I have repeat offenders every <laughs> week. So go ahead and do that. And like I said, whether you rate the video thumbs up or thumbs down, it don't even matter. You've already been counted, man. You say it all the time. I say it all the time. Yep. A good view and a bad view is still a view. But hey, this week's a power, man. Family first. Episode eight. I want to go on record and say this was a good freaking episode. I was actually excited. Yeah. I was yeah. Like, this, this was the first time in a long time that I had to wind scenes back and listen to it again and make sure that I heard it right. Yeah. So, yeah, they, hey, according to y'all, y'all came through with this episode, and I, I appreciate it, man. It should have been the first one. Yeah, you should have came right back out the gate with this one. Yeah. Yeah, because it was a whole lot of deep stuff, and I understand why they called this family first this time. Mm -hmm. uh, so, we started the episode off where Braden is like, hey, this is parents um, week at college, and this is homecoming. You know what? Fuck the weed and the pills. We need to sell some freaking cocaine, man. Because these goddamn students they looking to... Out. Yeah, they stressed <laughs> out. So they looking to freaking turn up. But Tariq was like, no, we pee, we pills and yeah, weed, weed, guys. So we ain't fitting to do that. Did so, you say peed? Yes, I did say peed. <laughs> so Tariq quickly dismissed that. And Brayden was like, all right, cool. All right, cool. So now we at uh, Chronicle Studies, and of course the parents has been invited because it's parents we get to school, and as we can see, Lauren's parents, the ghetto go girl's parents, we see that the apple does not fall far from the tree mm -mm, at all. Yeah, because they started talking about the uh, the story of the Invisible Man, and Professor Reynolds was asking them, "Hey, have y'all read it?" And it was like, "Put them up is a story of racism or the racism divide in America." And so Professor Reynolds decided to ask Tariq what you think. And I like his response. He was like, people don't, don't want to hear the truth. truth. And, and that is so that is and, true. And no matter how ugly it is, we don't want to accept it. So you want your own version of the truth that's in your head. And I was like, that's Professor Reynolds. Because we know in his head oh, yes. that Tariq is sleeping with, <laughs> sleeping with Professor Ingram. But... I think as far as in life goes, yes, the only truth that we want to hear is our own truth. Yeah. Or yeah. the acceptable version of the truth, like Tariq said. Yeah. So that 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 was pretty, pretty, pretty powerful. So that I felt sorry for Tariq a little bit. Yeah. Even though he killed his own father, I'm sitting there looking at everybody else and I'm like, Everybody Dang, yeah. everybody has at least one parent one in the parent, room. Yeah. He and got he nobody. He has one dead and one that's in jail because she took the rap for you. Why do yep. I feel sorry for, for yeah. him? <laughs> they are dysfunction. When they the one that set that up. Or made the decision so that could be set up. Because he fell into systematic racism. Yeah, that's it right there. <laughs> <laughs> so we saw after class, Professor Reynolds was like, Hey, Tariq, uh, what you said in there about truth. I can tell that came from your heart. So had this anything to do with your family and what's going on with you? And he was like, no, this just just the book, Professional Reynolds. So he's still trying to dig into Reek 
to try to find out more information because you remember I he love what he told him too. I can't remember the uh, the guy's name that um, Professor Reynolds was at the table. Um, that yeah, he I don't loved. Ever it. Remember yeah, his name. yeah, you know, uh, Mr. Cool, the book That's, guy. Yeah, the book guy, Mr. Cool. Uh, and he was like, "We love the book. We can make a lot of money off this, but it's gonna be that drug dealing family story. It's what's gonna make the money." What's the end of that story? And Professor he, know. he Professor Reynolds was like, that's the come. He was like, oh, you don't, you don't know. know. So then you see that's where the wheel is turning because you got to remember in the last few episodes, he got Tariq writing a romantic novel. So how <laughs> is he going to trick Tariq this time to write the end of the book to there is no end of the book because the story is still going? So how, how are you going to fix this one? And I love how Professor Reynolds was like, you need to have someone that you can trust. Yeah. Like, you need to tell me what's going on with you. And Tariq said, didn't you read that book? Yeah. <laughs> trust no one. Yeah. And walked off. I said, yep. thank you. And, that, and that's hella deep because it's only a few people in life that you can really trust with your truth. That's the truth. And I'm always the type of person is I give you a little bit of my truth at a time Just to test see, you out. yeah, to see if I can trust you with it. In other words, how you trust him with it. If I give you a little bit and I don't hear it in the streets, I know that you kept it amongst yourself. Hey, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> that, that's me, but I never come in a relationship and let you know everything about me from the oh, game. No. I got a friend that has always said from the beginning, she said, if I tell you everything about me, yep. you can be me. Right. So why are we in a friendship with each other when you know everything yeah. about me? You know the pertinent stuff. Yep. You know the stuff that connects us. And you even know some stuff that could damage me. Yeah. But you're not going to know everything about me. Right. Yeah. Because that's just me. I said, I can respect that. Yeah, that's, that's why I believe a true friendship is when you have, like you said... You have truth on me that can destroy you, and I have truth on you that can destroy you. But that's not my intent. At all. But you know, that's that's a powerful friendship. Yeah, because, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, that's all you have to say? That's all it. you have to say. So, we already knew from the past episode that 2-Bit is out. So, we see him, you know, of course, in his creepy style. Looking at this old lady, and I was like, I know he ain't fitting to get out of jail and, and straight up lady. and go rob this old lady. Lou Nail. But yeah, that's <laughs> But this lady, and I don't remember her. I probably, we probably have seen her before. I don't. Because I clear, I don't remember everything that happened in the past episodes of Powell. So and if y'all do, yeah, just fill us in the comments. So that's why we love the banter back and forth. So you can spill it. Um, so I don't know if this is his mama. If this is Spanky's mama, oh, or this Spanky's is Spanky's mama. Grand, grand, okay, so if this is Spanky's mama, and he or was grandma, so you know, grandmas be raising their kids. Yeah, so yeah. she said, you know, first thing out the gate, uh, did you get out like Spanky did? And I heard the way that Spanky got out was that he snitched. Do you know any truth about that? And of course, two uh, two bit was like, well, I did kind of hear something like that in the pen, but. You got my word that if anybody is talking ill about Spanky in the streets, I got them. I got them. I, that's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a problem. And so he handed her money and be like, "I got you. I got you." Cause Spanky was my boy. And I was like, "So maybe Two Bit do have a little, a bit, little of bit of heart." You know, he like the Grinch, and his heart is growing a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I really did think he was gonna knock this lady upside her head or or take her down yeah. immediately. So I was like, "So he really did. Him and Spanky really was close like that." So, yeah. But anyway, so, of course, since he out now, he needs his hookup back. So, the first thing he's thinking is that I need to get over there and get to Tariq. So, he shows up to, at the college and he runs into Lauren and her parents. And he I was... hate them. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so uh, Lauren was like, you look too young to be here at the school. Well, you look too young to be a parent. Well, yeah, you look too young to be a parent. And he was like, oh, no, I'm here to see my cousin, Tariq. And she, it was like, typical. Oh, Tariq, we already know who he is. Yeah. And she said, matter of fact, he over there and such and such. And the, and the freaking names is on the room. Because uh, <laughs> you know Lauren is mad at him now because Tariq not giving her no play no more. Because of we, what we saw last week. So he got to keep that going. So he too bit end up at Tariq's room, bust up in his room. One to reek to pay him because he said ghost before he died. He made a owes promise. me. So you need to come good on that promice. Say, 
So every single time it seemed like Tariq is making some headway, something always happened, but that's the nature of the game. It is. Just like in the old power, every time Ghost made a move, it always was something to come in to. You had to, you had to do just one more thing. Yeah, so it just <laughs> it just gets messier and freaking messy as we continue to go. So he was like, um, the first payment needs to be 24 G's. I said, wow. I was like, darn, you know. And he said, I'm a reasonable man. Yeah. I'll give you to tomorrow. I'll give you to tomorrow because Tariq was like, give me a week. <laughs> said, well, first of all, a week, that's, 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 yeah. But we got to remember before that, is remember old Effie. I said, where's she come from? Yeah, decided to come on back to the school because she know this is parents week and homecoming weekend, so she knows she can fatten her pocket Cause she's with some serious cocaine. cash. Yeah, so she's selling the cocaine. So she told Tariq, you know what? Let me in. I'll give you 50 50. And Tariq was like, I'm not in the game anymore. And because of what you did with back and me, did to me back at Cho, and ratted on me. Now I got a paper I got to write. So you got to go. So he lied to her. But of course now he got this $24 that he got to come up with. 24000 Well, 24000 Because I'm getting the 24000 yeah, 24000 that he got to come up with in the next freaking day. He had to call Effie back. And he was like, she was like, so what changed? Something is not right. How can I trust you? So he was like, well, I need to come up with another payment to pay the lawyer for my goddamn mama. And of course, she bought that because she, some kind of way she know that he paying for the lawyer, paying for McLean. I don't know how she know that, but she was like, oh, well, that's you know. truth. But what, had, <laughs> what was so funny about the whole thing was when Tariq realized that he needed to link up with Effie, he, yeah. he wasn't feeling it. So he yeah. called his mama and was like, listen, yeah. I have something that I need to do. Don't worry about what that is, mama. Don't you hate what people call to ask you for advice, <laughs> but they only tell you half of the situation. Exactly. So you giving them you giving them a play yeah. based off of half of the story or half of the truth. Exactly. But she was like, you know, he was like, how do I deal with somebody that I don't trust? Yeah. And she was like, oh, I felt that same way about your father. But uh. you not trusting her isn't what the play is going to be. Yeah. She said, I got your father to then trust me. And she gave this weird smirk. And I said, I'm like, so. So Stella looked at me and was I'm like, I'm like, is this plan rolling out the way that Tasha wanted to roll out? And I'm like, is Tasha tricking Tariq that she going to get set free and sacrificing her son? Because it's, or. I don't know. It's, it it seemed a little weird by the smirk that she gave. The like, smirk was almost like it all worked. Yeah. And I was like, what part though? Yeah. Like what part worked? Is this part about Tariq helping you get out of jail? Was this all this a part? Or is it a part of the game? I don't know. Because you know, power has always been about chess. Yep. So in chess, and if it, I remember it, in chess, it's been a while. Queen pin. Yeah, that so in is chess she, is she really the queen pin? In, in chess, if I remember, sometimes you have to sacrifice your queen sometime to win the game, or sacrifice your king to win the game. Don't quote me on that, it's but I know is you got to sacrifice somebody something. Somebody got to go. Somebody got to be sacrificed so you can win. So I'm like, yeah. And and we're gonna talk about some more of that um, towards the end because yeah, uh, about Kane. Yeah, I, I got I got the. Yeah, we got to get there. But to, um, Zeke really touched my uh, freaking heart this episode because he... Are we, we going to bypass the fact that Tariq don't smash your effing? Oh, that's Oh, right. back in the room? Yeah, because, yeah, so that, Tariq, that was his way to yes. get her to trust. So he, Tariq flipped that thing, and then he don't got all in the draw. Now, both of them, they yeah. getting undressed. They realize both are packing. Yep. Effing was like, listen... <laughs> You can be safe around me. You yeah. can trust me. She put her gun away, put his gun gun away, got the condom, and now he just pooching around campus like yep. all to the good. I said, boy, you just, like they say, go wet behind the ears now. Yeah, Smell but, it yourself. Yeah, but you know, we all know as grown folk, when you get between la, la, the la, legs, la, 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 keep going. that blurs the lines, man. That it always, blurred the lines for it, it, it blurred the lines for her. That's, that was the game. Yep. And, and it worked. And it worked. So do you think, since we did, do you think that she really thought that Tariq was not going to give her back? Uh, absolutely. For what she did? You think he really was going to let that go? Yes. I, I, <laughs> she I, really thought that. Oh, yeah. She was hurt at that end. Yeah. Yeah. But she realized that he, when he sent her that text and said, we can't meet up right now. Yeah. She was hurt. Yeah. 
but she got him back too. She, uh, she'll try to blow up his spot too. Yeah. So, freaking Zeke. Zeke the freak. Zeke really touched my heart this episode because we see he was talking to Professor Ingram and he was like, I'm real nervous about tonight's game because there's going to be NBA scouts there and if I mess up, this could mess up my chance of getting into the league. So Professor Ingram was like, you know what? You know, well, you know, because he was like, if I don't, if I don't make it tonight, I might end up second string. And he was like, I can't do second draft. And I draft end up playing, pick. You, you know, get second draft pick, and I'm gonna end up playing overseas. And so Professor Ingram was like, Well, what's the worst thing? That's not bad. What's the worst can happen? He was like, Well, I need to make the league so that my auntie Monatum can stop doing whatever they doing and get out here and work. <laughs> I said, Oh. And it, it kind of it's kind of sad that the family is putting this kind of pressure on this young boy to quote unquote win in life. That if he don't win, he gonna mess up their the whole, whole family. Time. Yeah, the whole family. And I'm like Like his his thing is going to auto correct yeah, everything that y'all yeah, did in the past. Exactly. So that kind of take us back to is you got these parents is that screwed up their life and now you trying to get your life back right through your kids. Right. And I'm like, I feel so sorry for Tariq. I mean not Tariq, um Zeke. So now I understand why he wilding out in school, why he want to party, why he want to F all these girls, because he's trying to suppress the pain and all this pressure that he got to produce for his family. And he don't have a clue what's going on yeah, until today. Yeah. <laughs> he don't even know what they doing because they trying to keep him away from the business. And the crazy thing about it with Zeke's situation, you look at a Zeke and think that he has it made. Like you can yeah. pay, you got these tutors doing your work for you. All yeah. you do is go party, yeah. play ball be cute while out yeah but the whole time he's sitting there with all of this pressure yeah that he got that like he that for his has family. to win or the whole family yep. fails and we were talking about this not long ago like you know how you have that one person in the family that is doing a little better than everyone else yeah and they get all of the pressure of oh if nana's um, property taxes do. Oh, go ask Aunt such and such. Yeah. Or if somebody over here like they got do, it. Yeah, they oh, got go it. ask um, Uncle Bruce or something like that. Yep. And it's like they have sustained and built their lives for them. Yes. And their needs and their emergencies. Exactly. Not yours. Yeah. Not all of yours. And you can't put that kind of responsibility and that pressure on someone. On a kid. On someone, period. Yeah. That did but not sign up for that. Yeah. 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 That so, was, yeah. I was like, wow, Zeke. Yeah. So I can imagine if it, if it was me. So. And maybe, we still don't know Zeke's backstory. Yeah. Where's his mom? Yeah. Where's his dad? Like, who's, who, how, how is Monet his aunt? Yeah. Mama or, or, or daddy? Yeah. Did we ever find that out? Don't know. And then where are they? Are they in yeah. jail? Like, we might know that, but we don't remember right now. So, if y'all remember, you know, y'all be good. Y'all be remembering yeah. stuff from 25,000 years ago. Yeah, because, I mean, I, I can imagine if I was in his shoes, I'd be doing the same thing. Hell yeah. Yeah, and so maybe he's maybe he's viewing Professor Ingram as a mom. Because she is she is there for him more than his auntie She's Monet. very soothing. Yeah. And easy to talk She's to. She's that mom type. That, that's what you so attracted to moms, you know. Mom's got that soothing touch, but sometimes moms can take that a little too far. Can I say what I'm going to say? Go ahead. Go ahead and say it. This entire episode was nothing more than a big old cluster buck of everyone doing whatever it is that they needed to do to come out on top. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. As much as we just <laughs> said that we enjoy Zeke and we feel sorry for Zeke, what if Zeke is playing the game right along with? Zeke don't got his way in between the legs of a professor. professor. Mm -hmm. So what if Zeke didn't do this on purpose to hmm. get there that in case everything else fails, you're going to have to pass me or yeah. I'm going to blow up your spot. Mm, yeah, you your gotta, you entire career is yeah. gone if this gets out. And she and she already told him and that. And she already told him So she confirmed that. that, yeah. So as much as we think that Zeke is this nice little, um, this gullible little team that's so infatuated with the professor and he don't mm. got in between the legs, what if this isn't gameplay for him too? Yeah. Like, really, we have Tariq, gameplay. We have Auntie Monet, 
gameplay. gameplay. Yeah. We have Lorenzo gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> we have Tasha in jail. Game. Everybody is playing the game. You right. To you right. Manipulate yes. and to get what the fuck they, they want. want. And yep. everybody's closest relationships are, are collateral being, damage at yep, this point. Being, they being challenged. Yeah. Even when Effie came through. She don't blew up Tariq and Brayden's spot, and they yep. got them against each other now yep. too because yep. Brayden wanted to sell coke, and Tariq and didn't. Now Tariq over there's messing around with the coke with Effie, and yep. Effie made sure that before she left, I'm gonna hurt you the most. Yeah, and I, oh and, da 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 da, and let Brayden know, and she let Brayden know. Yep. So everybody's relationships right now. Look, look at um Drew. Yep. And Kane. Yep. Then you got um Zeke and Drew. Yep. It's just one yeah. big cluster bug. <laughs> family not first. <laughs> family not. But after, family, look, no. after family, family, I let the family in my house. <laughs> and the family F my god don't husband. <laughs> it's a lie. So in other words, family first just sounds good on paper. Or sounds good coming out your mouth. But is family really first? Sometimes. On power. <laughs> no. But family no. ain't first on power. No. Oh my god. Nah. That, I mean, you got you made a really good point there. So we thought that freaking Zeke was going to really screw up this whole thing. But back to Drew and Zeke's relationship, because like we said, we knew that, um, uh, that Zeke knew nothing about the family business. So here we got when Kane was trying to set up Tariq with the GTG boys. And they were telling this dude, hey, we want you to get him at the game tonight. And I was like, really? Really, Kane, here we go with this public skit again that you want to set him up in public, make this big kerfuffle. And I was like, your parent, not your parents, your goddamn aunt is there, your your sister is there, and you're going to create all this scene there, and you putting this trust in these dudes that tried to F y'all before. before. And you trusting them now. So this freaking dude, he comes to the goddamn game, and he's sticking out like a sore thumb, Making it very obvious that he dared to kill Tariq because he come right in the door, got his eyes right on Tariq at first. Messenger bag. Yeah, yeah. Because at first we didn't think Tariq recognized him, but he kept on. Tariq got him right off yeah, the bat. Yeah, got him right off the bat. So Tariq, of course, went in, sat with them at the game. Game going good. And so uh, who was, who needed to drop from Tariq? Because he had to um, meet somebody. Uh, two bit. Um, two bit. Yeah, he was mean. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he had to meet two bit um, to pay him the money. So he act like he was going to the concession. Yeah, stand. he had to go to the concession stand. So he was going to. I like he was going to the concession stand, and he went out to go and meet two bit, and that's when he realized the guy was following him. And I'm like, this guy's stupid. You ain't. You ain't even being you ain't even trying. I'm like, come on, bro. I'm like, come on, make make it look, really look real, because in real life, I don't think. Somebody really would have did that. And that's one of the things we said about power. Make it realistic, man. Mm -hmm. So, Tariq is running for him and tell, and Tariq told 2-Bit, hey, instead, meet me, the pool. meet me at the pool. So, Tariq ran to the pool. So, I was like, oh, skit, he not dead yet. So, I thought this was going to be the end of Tariq, but I knew it won't be the end of Tariq because they need Tariq for the rest of the show. <laughs> but 2-Bit mm -hmm. came in just in time, and they end up killing him. But here's where it fucked us up that we had to keep rewinding back and yeah. forth because, uh, of course, to repay um, two bit, but two bit was like, no, it's gonna be extra. I need another twenty or fifty thousand because I just saved your life. Yeah, because I just Cause saved your life. Had the little ice pick thing yeah. get ready to stab up Tariq, and I said, Tariq. So first of all, you already later on you admitted that you knew that the cameras were off yeah. in the pool, so you gonna let this dude corner you up. Yeah. Where there's no cameras. And thank God that you had. Well, that probably was his thing. That was his, that was his that thing, was his yeah. Because he knew two bit was going to take care of him. He already knew. I said, really? Yeah, really? so he knew that. So, uh, they get the... Uh, this would, like I was saying, this would blur the lines for that we had to keep winding it back. Because we saw that... Um, uh, two bit he got drowned the, him. Yeah, two bit drowned him. He got that text, and Tariq saw the text. Was like, "Hey, they trying to kill me." Said somebody so said two bit me. took a picture of him drowned the guy in the pool, sent it back to to uh, Kane them, and when the Tariq same, got yeah. back to the chair, and the text went off, and Kane saw it and was like, "I knew this is you, Kane," 
And we was like, did 2-Bit send that text? So we had to wind it back. And then was like, nah. Nah. Because <laughs> at first I was like, hold on. Is 2-Bit working with Kane yeah. or know about this? But now yeah. we, we had to rewind it back and like 2-Bit. And see, they, they did horrible editing with this. Yeah. Because when 2-Bit did the um, text of the picture, he put yup. 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 And then when we got to the regular tech, the yup was gone. The yup was gone. And it was just the picture. And then it said, you did this cane or something like yep. that. Mm -hmm. I was like, and then it was like, I'm going to take you out or something like that. Yeah. Or I'm going to get you or something. Yep. I was and, like, okay. And so when Kane saw that text, he left out. And so Monet was looking at him funny like, where the hell he going? And then Tariq started Look. sign eye Monet like, did you do, y'all was in on this? Like, y'all yeah, really trying yeah, to Yeah, they trying to set me up like this at the game. So... <laughs> <laughs> but Kane so, was looking at Tariq like, oh, am I, really, am I really crossing the wrong dude? Yeah, like, this exactly. Dude, like, I sent somebody to kill you and now they the ones dead. But what made it so crazy was when Kane went out to the out outside and made the call and said, whoever this is, I'm going to kill you, motherfucker. That was like, but so he was acting like he didn't know it was Tariq. Right. So I'm like, why didn't you say, I'm going to still kill you, Tariq? Because, yeah. Uh, and maybe he doesn't know that that's Tariq. Yeah, maybe he don't. Why didn't you just send a text and listen for the voom voom? Because you know y'all got the loudest voom vooms ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why you just ain't do that while you were sitting there behind him? Yeah, but before I forget, I remember I told y'all that it was going to be some freaking smoke in the city if Monet found out that Zeke is effing the goddamn professor. Because oh. y'all can remember that they met up outside and Monet was looking at her like, and she immediately picked it up because Professor Ingram couldn't hide it. And, and he so, couldn't, and hide, he it couldn't hide it either. Because so she was, almost called her by her first name. Yep. And so Monet was like, uh-huh. Uh, Z, don't you F this up. Mm -hmm. And I and I had problems with that because I know the pressure that y'all trying to put on him that he needs to make. He's supposed to be in college having fun turning up and, you know, getting his grades, but... It, it, like yeah, I said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I said, is it all a part of the play? Yeah. They, if they have done their research, and we're trying to compare that family to Ghost and Tommy, and how they really figured out who their people were, yeah. and they figured out everybody's strengths and weaknesses. If we really want to think about this, did Monet? figure out the weaknesses of everyone at that school before she sent her nephew there. Mm, I don't know. Does she even know that? Yeah. Oh, I knew that if I sent this boy there and he get close to this woman, he gonna end up effing her. So that's the second thing that's going to make sure that he gets all the way through and at least on the grade part. Hmm. That, that, that was going to be the insurance policy. Like you said. Okay. I mean, I, I, so when I mean, she saw it together, she was like, "Hmm, don't or, fuck this up." Or, like I said, it could be a thing that he just, he just, he just it's living a the lot moment. To unpack. Yeah, it's a whole lot of layers, and it's, and that's the one thing about power is you can, you can derive a whole lot of opinions off of what you see. So I know y'all have some. I know y'all. Yeah, so y'all, I know y'all have some opinions about that because Monet was definitely looking her up and down, like she don't know who she was. So. Or was she looking up down because she knew who she was? Yeah. Uh, Say, I know something about you. <laughs> you went to Cranbrook. That's a private school. <laughs> yeah, so. I don't know. Uh, so we saw that after the freaking game, because you remember Zeke do not know anything about the family business. So, so he says. So because of the freaking text, now the light-skinned guy of GTG is like, no, it can't go like this. So he ended up meeting Drew and them out in the parking lot. And he ended up drawing on them. And so Drew was at... Well, you got to back up a little bit and but, give the backstory about what had happened. After the game, because Zeke played. Oh, yeah. He played yeah, well. Yeah. I actually thought that we were going to have the typical... Yeah, they went to the club. Yeah. Yeah, I thought they, we were yeah. going to have the typical, yeah. oh, he's doing good, and boom, ACL torn. That's yeah. what I really yeah, thought was going to yeah, happen. Yeah, the typical story. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, they went yeah. to the club. So the, they were turning up in the club. And homeboy, yeah. Drew was trying to get in touch with his friend. Yeah. And the friend was blowing him off because yep. homeboy was like, Drew, you can't keep coming and blowing up my spot. My family not like yours. Yeah. Your family accepts you. 
Mine doesn't. Yeah. And I'm trying to get where I need to get without the distractions of who I am. I said, that's bucked up. But yeah. it, I but get I wonder, it. But I wonder what is his motive. Because he don't want, you know, the fellas to know that he's gay. Because he want to make an elite. But I wonder, do he got the same pressure from his family that Zeke has? Did you just hear what I just said? No. Wait. wait, wait. You won't listen to it. I just said that he told him that my family is oh, not accepting right. like yours yeah. is. I was in thought when you was talking. <laughs> that's a husband brain right there. Yeah, I was in thought, you know, trying to figure this thing. Yeah, that's how, that's the mind bump that power got on us. <laughs> yeah. So I hear you, but I don't hear. <laughs> husband brain. Yeah, that's all good, though. So, yeah. I, so they was at the club, like we said. They were turning up, getting the girls. And so the party was over. And so they was walking out and they, you know, they had a great night. And so heck when the light skinned guy from GTG was like, no, it ain't going down like this. Y'all don't F with us. And because you F with us and killed my friend, now I need to take away what I know is going to hurt Monet. And he had the freaking gun that y'all saw pointing at Zeke's got doing knee. And Drew was like, no, take me. And he was like, nope. I know this is gonna hurt Monet the worst. And I was like He said more than his more, than her effed up son. Than her, than her effed up gay son. I said, <laughs> what the hell? But now I am loving me some Drew. Drew is Drew, Drew, Drew is Drew is the is the silent killer. And so when he when you so you He just perked uh, up. See, that's why I said a lot of people judge people that are, that, don't, that are quiet and don't say much. You think they punks? You think you can just run over top of them? And yeah, those type of people will will make you think that you're getting away. And, Kirk and the thing about Drew, we know that Drew is a family guy. You can do whatever you want to do to him. That's most quiet. You can do whatever you want to do to quiet people. But if you F with they family. It's over. And because this boy F for his family, he charged that boy. And I was like, please oh. let him get to him before he pulled the trigger. And I thought that Zeke's knee was shot off. And I was like, there goes the family plan out the window. And when Zeke looked down, I said, oh, the oh. knee is still there. But did y'all see the way that Drew beat the brace off of that boy? I was like, that was, that was, that was, years. Years. That was borderline some Tommy crap. When Tommy wouldn't let up all people, he just, uh, 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 uh. And you see them freaking GTC, GTG boys are supposed to be all hard in the jump. They ain't even try to help they boys. They don't even look hard. Like They cast. That's why I say supposed to be. So why y'all ain't help y'all boy out? They running. Yeah, they running. And so once again, you could see the hurt on freaking Z. Because he like, what the who, F? Who is this? This is my who, cousin. Yeah, yeah. How did we end up in this with this dude freaking trying to kill us after we done turned up in the club? And Drew was like, and then he did him just like um, Monet did Kane. Mm -mm, don't nah. touch. No, no. I was like, um, Drew boyfriend or whatever they want to call each other. He was like, oh, hell no. Uh -huh, Y'all oh, crazy. No. Y'all crazy, yeah, crazy. I am out. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah. But I got my eye even more on Drew now. Yeah. So we had our eye on Kane because Kane is freaking outwardly crazy. But Drew is freaking inwardly crazy. And that crazy is starting to come out. Little by little. Huh. And then you saw so, Zeke. Zeke ended up going over there to Professor Ingrams. And yeah. I was like, I almost felt like crying for him. Yeah, he yeah. He came over there and she was like, what did I tell you? You just can't keep popping up on my at my door like yeah. that. Yeah. And the look on his face, she was like, oh. Because he was crying. Something ain't right. Right, yeah. So now he about to tell it all to yeah. Professor Ingram. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> uh, yeah. But how about Professor Reynolds? And this stalking of Tariq. Yeah. Following him everywhere he is. And ended up overhearing him talk about... Well, course correct. Course correct. Now he know about it. And now he knows about it. Now he done downloaded it on his phone. So now is Professor Reynolds about to get him a drop. And he called himself texting Professor Ingram to be like, you need to try to tell him that she needs to be careful. But I think he deleted that text though before he sent it. I don't it remember in. what he did, but he did text her and said, can we meet? And she said, I'm with a student. And I said, here we go. Yep. It's got to be Tariq. <laughs> <laughs> he and, my nerves. And of course, uh, as always, here's Professor um, Reynolds trying to steal Tariq's skit again for his book. But I, 
I don't know. We go, we gonna see more about that because they really didn't dig into that. We just saw him looking at Tariq's last paper at the desk. So I'm on, I'm trying to figure out is he how he gonna coerce Tariq to get some more, or he's just gonna try to use that that last thing he wrote to to end this book. I don't know. But here is the scene of all scenes tonight that I thought that I was never gonna see. Cause you remember last yeah. week or week for last that Monet told Lorenzo, you went too far with Kane. And so Kane came back home after that big kerfuffle, like James say, that big kerfuffle. <laughs> <laughs> and he met Diana at the door and Diana told him, Kane, that's it. Mama don't, Mama don't want you here no more. You can no longer after this last thing. You can't be no longer be a part of the family. And I was like, the first problem I had with that, why would you send his sister to dismiss him from the family? That was your job. But she's also training her to be her. I, that wasn't a training moment. It wasn't. It that wasn't. was, I understand the dirtiness and the griminess of the business, but, and I also understand the dynamic of family. And I'm like, Yes, he bucked up. He almost bucked up the family business, and I understand mm -hmm. that he needed to be dealt with. But did she go too far as far as being her his mom? But I understand that she had to do that for the business. So it's a lot. So that's why I was saying I think she should have been the one oh, I do to talk to him. And then we saw that when he was leaving, she had a nerve to stand in the window and Close look at him. And close the curtain and turn his back so that was a sign that it's that it's, it's over. over he spit on the ground yeah he and so you know that's a sign that oh it's done but it's on yeah and here's my thing Woo! you was the one that created this raging monster you would turn him a loose to take care of all the problems that happens in the family business now i make a mistake and i get dismissed but I've been the one that's been handling the major problems. And mistakes. But that's why I say Cain is likened unto freaking Tommy. It's that they are loyal. They will freaking come through for you on a kill quickly. Because that's, that's what they want to do. Quickly. But they reckless. So I, I don't know. What y'all think? Do y'all think she went too far with that? I think she did. <sighs> I get it though, like you said. But you can I see the it. hurt. It's oh, he like, was real hurt. yeah, he was hurt. Like, okay, not not about the family business, but my freaking mama done throw me out. But at the same time, do we know? See, because everybody's crossing everybody, in my opinion. Yeah. Did Drew mastermind his own mama as well? Hmm. Because you know that Drew been making some calls, and Monet peeped it she was like so who made that call that you would have came to go to kill to go kill those boys off and he was like i did it and she was like that's what a leader is yes. you don't ask nobody you don't consult with nobody you just do what needs to be done but that's and what came been doing yep and he said and you also take the rap for when things go wrong you did that too but she said i know it was all came but she was like, after this kill right here, that's the last one that he's going to do for the family. Uh, and Drew kind of gave that look like, mm. What makes me any different? Yeah. And or I like, think... Did, he, did she play into the hand? But look, I think Kane knew kind of that his mama was going to kick him out because he didn't kill the light-skinned guy. When he didn't finish the job. No, he didn't. He cut a deal, said, whatever you do, 50. I want 50-50. So I was like, maybe Kane knew. That was his insurance policy. Yeah, that he secured his bag. But here's the motherfucker right here. Is if Kane start doing business with him, that means he in competition with his mama now. Mm. But then check this out. Mm. When Monet set up a meeting with Tariq, because all of this started because of Kane's jealousy yeah. towards Tariq. And feeling like Monet was taking her sights from him and putting it yeah, on Tariq. Yeah, that's what it all started And putting from. a lot of confidence in Tariq. Yeah. Tariq said, you know what? You're going to meet me out in public because you're not going to fit to kill me. Now you ain't fit to kill me, yeah. In public. And she was like, I didn't do any of that. All of yeah. that was Kane. But you don't have to worry about Kane no more. He's not in the family no more. And Tariq was like, I'm the one. I told you. I was yeah. the one to be trusted. Yeah. And she was like, but let me tell you this. If it comes down to you and Kane, hey. 
I'm not no. going to be mad at you. Yeah. If you do what you have to do. But if you go after, after him, him. Yes. Then I will kill you myself. And that. And that I said, yeah. well, God, don't. So uh, basically, she knows that Cain is it's going coming, coming after for him. So she giving him. So not only you kicked him out. But you gave permission to Tariq to kill him. Your son. To kill your son if he come. And you know he coming. You know he coming. That's what all of this is about. Uh, I but, said, what the hell? And Tasha don't call Lorenzo. Don't got everybody in a, a cluster bus. Yes. And so that's said, why don't you, don't you have your mama call my man no more. That's why I agree with saying. Closing, that's it with Tasha yep, talking to Monet. Yeah. God darn. Monet was like, don't you have your mama call? Yep. But she said, as a mother, I understand what I understand your, mom, what your, what your mama, mama did. did. But she better not call my man no she more. She better not call him no more. But here's the thing. Tasha let Lorenzo know. Yeah. That there was some workings out in these streets that he didn't know He didn't know about. about. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, now Lorenzo <laughs> sitting there like. Okay. So, now she doing some stuff. She's saying, I'm going too far, but you hiding some stuff from me. And you're going to kick Kane out. And I guarantee you, she not going to tell him that. Hmm. Y'all let us know. And nine out of ten, Kane is gonna, not gonna go back to the prison and tell him that because he don't oh, want no. he don't want his a whoop no more. Oh no no his and he still burnt her. Yeah no yeah no, 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 yeah no. yeah. And again, y'all like we said, if you into vlogs, the vlog channel is gonna be below. Head over there if y'all want to see what we've been doing. Straight from the VA. Mm. Sleep it. The dirty dirt stuff. Two up. Two down. Holla.